All right, so we're going to look at one way you can use Excel to sort of organize your thoughts or to plan some stuff. Now, I'm very aware that I could use uh, Microsoft Word and Tables, or I could use OneNote, I could use a lot of things, but this is one way to use Excel that I like, and that is I, I just want to plan out um, a rough idea of um, some of the projects that I could cover over the next, say, term as a bit of a personal brainstorm. Now, this will be pretty simple. Um, first of all, I'm going to initially um, highlight those three cells and just make them all a bit bigger. Um, this first cell I'm going to just call week. In other words, which week we're we talking about. This one's going to be task, and this one will be notes. Um, in fact, these two can probably be smaller, so highlight both and just uh, reduce them in size. This one can be bigger. And one thing I'm going, and then I'm just going to center those three titles, make them bold, make them a bit bigger. All right. Now what I'm going to do is wrap the text in this particular um, column here. And the way we do that, um, so I'm looking for wrap text, and look at that, there it is. It's on the home tab. Home tab contains the most common, most commonly used tools. So wrap text, click that, and what happens is if I type away, it's going to wrap the text and, and expand that particular row. Um, which is really handy. I'm going to highlight those three cells. Let's put a border around them. <clears throat> so I'm looking for border. Here's my border tool. I want, um, what do I want? I want all borders. There we go. So and now I need to save that. So Control S. Uh, I'm going to call this RFGS plan. Hello. Uh, maybe I'll. Okay, term and week. So, I mean, the point of showing you this is that you may be watching this and think, oh, I could use that for, you know, whatever. Obviously, you're not going to want to make an ICT plan. Now, one other thing is, notice I'm scrolling here and I lose the top row. Um, and it's really cool to be able to maintain that top row. Now, I'm going to demonstrate that I don't know everything about, about Excel. Like, I can't remember exactly the uh, protocols and that's an important thing to know that you don't have to know everything to use Excel but I do know that it can freeze that uh, top row so that's called freeze pane and I think you click on the the uh, row be beneath it where am I going to find freeze pane it, it should possibly be here we go freeze pane so it's, it's on, because it's got to do with the view. So now, I clearly did not know where that was, but I knew it was somewhere. So it was either going to be on the Home tab, because it was fairly common, or it was going to, it could be a page layout, but it's not. Um, and then it would, the next option would be View, because it's about the way it looks. And there it is there. So um, let's just try this. I've got the second row highlighted just by clicking on the uh, two there. Click freeze pane. I think it wouldn't matter whether I did this option or that option. Let me see what happens. There you go. So that's worked. So now when I'm scrolling, um, the title, uh, the header row stays put. Now I've just decided to add another column here. Now you can see I don't have it exactly clear in my head exactly how it was going to look. And this is kind of how I work because as you do, as you get more and more of the spreadsheet together, it, evol it can evolve. And that's a really powerful skill to have if you're confident with Excel. I want to insert a column before this one. Uh, if I right click, choose insert, there you go. I've inserted a column before. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I want term to be a separate, um, a separate column. Uh, I'll just put some uh, borders around that. That was back on the home tab. There we go. And we better increase the size just to get it all looking the same and center it. Um, 
Now the reason I've done that is because it's going to be quicker. I don't have to write T3 week one. Okay, now I've just made a couple of entries here. These two columns, I'm going to want to center everything. And I'm, I think with all of them, uh, we'll go to size 14. Oh, there you go, it just did it itself. Um, with term four, we obviously want about eight or nine of these. Because that's just the number four, if I drag this down, it's going to just copy that. And I want, I don't know, is that about, that'd probably be more than enough. If I just had the one there and I copy that down, it's just going to copy the one. Control Z will take me back. However, if I start a sequence that's not too complicated, highlight both those cells and drag them down, have a look at that. That is brilliant. Now, I think there's nine weeks in, in uh, term four. There might only be eight, but anyway, nine's at least enough. Um, so now I've got my um, weeks and terms sorted out. And now I'll start entering in some tasks. I'm going to need a little bit more room there, I guess. All right, so I've made a few entries. Now I can widen this particular column if I want. Resize. Uh, I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to show any more than this. Um, and you can see I'm going to put in some notes here, etc., etc. So you can see this is a um, it's a pretty cool way and a very quick way to organise your thoughts. Um, yes, there's other ways of doing it. I prefer this to a Word document for this type of thing. Although it's you know you you just might prefer to do this in a table uh, in a Word doc, and that's fine as well. There you go, you might have got some ideas from that video.